Führer Nazi, the most notorious figure of Germany. There are many things you would know about Hitler, but a few know the story of his mistress, wife and suicide partner, Eva Braun. It was on 29th April in 1945 that Adolf Hitler and Eva Braun married only hours before they both died by suicide. In 1935, Eva Braun wrote in her diary, The weather is gorgeous and I, the mistress of Germany's and the world's greatest man, have to sit at home and look at it through the window. Many wonder if someone could fall for a man so evil. Hitler's personal chauffeur had called Eva the unhappiest woman in Germany. Well, it all started in 1929 with an opera ticket that the then 40-year-old Adolf had. Eva was only 17 at the time and agreed to accompany him. In one of the diary entries, she writes, Dear Mr. Hitler, I would like to thank you for the pleasant evening at the theatre. It was unforgettable. I count the hours until the moment when we shall meet again. Little is known about their affair, as when in public, Hitler did his best to hide her. And it soon got to Eva. Braun felt ignored by Hitler during the relationship. After her 23rd birthday, she lamented that he didn't bring her a gift. So now I bought myself some jewellery, Braun wrote. A necklace, earrings and a ring to match for 50 marks. I hope he likes it. If not, he may buy me something himself. Not being able to bear the distance, in another diary entry, she even contemplated suicide and wrote, Dear God, please make it possible that I speak to him today. Tomorrow will be too late. I have decided on 35 pills so as to make death certain this time. If he would at least have someone call up for him. It was her deep desire to marry him. And it all came down to 29th April 1945. Hitler and a handful of his personnel were in an anti-air raid bunker in Berlin. The war was about to end. The Nazis were about to be ousted by the Allies as Russia's Red Army was closing in on Hitler. Eva was in the bunker too. The marriage ceremony was performed on 29th of April 1945. Their marriage was her reward for so many years of loyalty. She bent down to sign the certificate, was about to write Eva Braun, stopped, scratched the B and wrote Hitler instead. The next day, after his final staff meeting, he poisoned his beloved dog Blondie and her pups to test how effective the cyanide was. He was scared and paranoid about the fact that it may not work and he may be captured. The dogs died. Then post-lunch, at around 3 p.m., his wife and him went into their private room. Eva bit into a cyanide tablet, so did he. Still paranoid, he shot himself too. And that was the end of Hitler's life and his love story.